fourth Sunday of Easter year B, the Good Shepherd. The fourth Sunday of Easter focuses on John chapter 10, the Gospel of the Good Shepherd. This image is one of the most primitive, the most enduring, and the most endearing images of our Lord. It is found, first of all, in the Old Testament. The Lord says this, I am going to look after my flock myself and keep all of it in view. As a shepherd keeps all his flock in view when he stands up in the middle of his scattered sheep, so shall I keep my sheep in view. I shall rescue them from wherever they have been scattered during the mist and darkness. I myself will pasture my sheep. I shall look for the lost one, bring back the stray, bandage the wounded, and make the weak strong. I shall be a true shepherd to them. Ezekiel chapter 34 verse 11. Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 1 to 4. Micah chapter 2 verse 12 to 13. The 23rd Psalm, which is traditionally attributed to King David, is probably the most beautiful literary expression of the comparison between a shepherd's care for his sheep and Yahweh's faithfulness, merciful love of his people. It is one of the most beloved psalms. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Many parents hire mates to look after their children. In most cases, these mates are often poorly paid and maltreated. In revenge, they tend to torture the children put under their care. We know of the story of some mates who molested several, in several ways very little children, innocent and helpless children. Some parents have gone to the extent of installing hidden camera to film the situation when they are at work and they were really shocked to see how the maid will be throwing down the little children on the ground and all the like just because of the fact that these maids do not represent the good shepherds. In the video I'm talking about, just because I don't want to talk about the name of the person, the worried parents installed a hidden camera to film the situation when they were at work. They were shocked to see the footage showing the maid throwing the 18 month old daughter to the floor. In that video, the maid was trying to force feed the child before slapping her hard. After the girl vomits, the maid throws her face down onto the hard floor, then hits her with a touch on the bottom. She then kicks the child's face and the stomach, putting her entire weight on the girl's back, and then drags her out of the room, apparently unconscious. And this video received a very widespread publicity on the social media. This maid represents the band wagon of bad shepherds who molest their sheep. That is her example. There are many examples where we have been bad shepherds, not representing what we stand for. Jesus, on the other hand, is a good shepherd. He cares for each one of his sheep. He lays down his life for the sheep. Jesus sets himself apart from other shepherds by identifying himself as the good shepherd. As the good shepherd, he has several characteristics which impact the life of the people in a significant way. The good shepherd demonstrates sacrificial love. One of the marks of a good shepherd is the overwhelming and the steadfast love that knows no bound to its expression. Such love cannot just be hidden. It must always be known. A natural expression of love is concern. Jesus says that a good shepherd cares for his sheep. He wants the very best for them. The prophet Jeremiah echoes this when he says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and the future. As a good shepherd, Jesus has good plans for us, just as Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. 
as, uh, as told us. This duty to be a good shepherd particularly falls on bishops who are the pastors or shepherds of the faithful of the diocese entrusted to them. But not only on bishops, we too as parents, we too as leaders, we are called to be good shepherds. Let us just look at the way shepherds normally do when they are uh, with their sheep. They have some special positions where they stand to show the true leadership. At times they will be in front, leading, showing the way, and the flock will be following. At times they will be behind, looking at the flock from behind and protecting the flock in case of any problem, any attack. At times, they stand by the side. It's clearly the most dangerous side to prevent the flock or the sheep from falling into problems. But at times, they'll just be in the middle of the flock without saying anything, but their presence is felt. Why Jesus Christ is a good shepherd, every Christian who exercises any responsibility towards others also has a duty of acting as a good shepherd, of acting as a good leader. A good shepherd is a good leader. For example, every teacher, every coach, every supervisor, every parent has a duty of care towards those who are placed under them. May we, like Jesus, remain good shepherds. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit.